Okay, welcome to a more geeky tutorial. This is how to create your own layouts on the iPad for Patty. So we're going to walk through what we need to do to create a layout on the iPad in order to get um, the iPad to communicate with Patty. Uh, I am sure we're going to run into trouble somewhere along the way. Um, so this will be somewhat of a long path, but hopefully you have some fun. So what you will need is an app called Touch OSC Editor. This is available from um, our friends who produce Touch OSC, uh, the app we use on the iPad to produce uh, screens. And you can see already on the screen here, you can produce beautiful, very tight things, um, stuff that I haven't even explored yet, uh, like rotary controllers, uh, smaller sliders, you know, uh, and, and you know, these beautiful things even on the iPhone. I'm looking forward to the first person who controls Patty with the iPhone. Download the app. Uh, more importantly for this exercise here, you will need to download Touch OSC Editor. Uh, I took the Windows 64-bit version, works fine, has some quirks. Uh, we'll talk about this in a second, okay? So you download this, you dump it somewhere, it doesn't install, it's just a little uh, .exe app. So you start this, it starts empty. Here it is. Uh, it starts empty. I'm going to move this here to the left for a second. Um, and the first quirk is that, uh, you know, Control o doesn't open anything. You actually will need to use these little um, icons here, which kind of... It's kind of inefficient, but anyways, uh, what you should probably do is download the Paddy templates from the Paddy um, website, as uh, introduced in the other apps. And you can see here, I downloaded. Uh, let's take this uh, Paddy Touch OSC thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. Uh, quick tip: Control Copy this. Go over here. Open. Paste. There we go. Otherwise, you have to go through all uh, whatever your directory hierarchy is. Okay, so uh, Patty, uh, let's pick this one. So there you go. And I'm going to now maximize this. This is the template that we use in Patty. Now, the easiest way to modify something is, of course, to sort of copy and paste. And that's precisely what we're going to do. But I do want to show you how exactly this works a bit. Okay, I'm going to save this as and you can see we're just in the middle of uh, something. So let's see here. Uh oh. There you go. Don't know what happened there. Uh, as promised, interesting things. So we go in my Paddy development, you see sort of my full folder here, touch OC editor, and I'm going to call it just. Um, Petty demo. Okay, so we're gonna play around with this thing. All right. So uh, the way this works effectively is in in uh, Touch OSC. I'm not gonna walk you through a tutorial of this editor. It's pretty straightforward. You right click, you can insert stuff, and so on. But uh, I do want to show you how this works in terms of commands. Effectively, OSC Open Sound Control. Um, Unlike MIDI, is very flexible. So MIDI, you can actually use this for MIDI here, but we're going to use Open Sound Control, and you can see each of these buttons or sliders has a command attached to it. Okay, so for instance, this one here has slash Patty slash Lightroom slash Function slash twelve eighty six. Well, it's a bit cryptic, but you'll see in a second how this works. Um, if I hop over to Develop, we have slash Patty slash Lightroom slash slider number slash three. So. Uh, effectively, what we need to do is assign things, assign them this kind of OC function, upload this to the iPad, and it works. It's really not as hard as it sounds like. Let me walk through uh, first. Where did you get? Uh, where do you? Well, let's work. Let's go first through a sort of quick copy and paste exercise. So, say all you want to do is you want to have a little bit, little bit of a quick edit, or maybe you want to have the quick edit and some sliders. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete stuff, quite frankly. Uh, so let's see. Actually, I've never done this, to be honest. I have not ever deleted that. There you go. I right click to remove page. I'm just going to remove a whole bunch of these pages. You can see some weird things are happening, like some of these labels stay and so on. That's just that's just some quirkiness here, but that's okay. We remove pages. I'm going to keep this super simple. All right, now we have one page. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to keep the presets. 
uh, for reasons that we'll see. I'm just gonna, you know, well, let's keep down here the right, left, the next picture on the undo, just for the fun of it. All, all we do is a demo. All right, safe. Control S doesn't work. Safe. All right. Um, very simple kind of thing. So let's say, uh, you know, here, where one question, where does this come from? 1286. Okay, I started to document how Patty works. If you hop over to the Patty wiki, which you can do if you just Google, quite frankly, it should work. Patty for Lightroom. Uh, and now we actually first in the Google hits. Look at this. You go over here. This is the official Patty website. Uh, of course, the phone rings. If this is the official Patty website, you go over here, you go to the wiki. And then you go to Developer Zone, and there's a link here to the Patty Developer Wiki. This is where this is where the stuff is. Uh, I'm gonna document MIDI better. Here's OC, okay. And let's go into here. It's a bit a little little bit of basic, but then you can see all these commands um, documented. So for instance, here, what we do is we just have a Lightroom command, right? It's slash Patty slash Lightroom slash function and then a function number, okay? Uh, Patty only receives this, never sends it. Parameters, function number, okay? The number of the function, list of function is here. You click on this, you're gonna get to a big table. And here's the, here's the big table of function numbers uh, that, are, um, that are available in Patty. It's huge. Okay, um, let's go here. 2,654. There you go. Uh, you, need, you see that some are empty. Okay, that's unsurprising. Uh, it's just the way this is done. I kept some things for future use. And, and, and there are a bunch of other things that are, that are funky, but you can start, you can copy this into Excel and start f looking for function numbers. So for instance, for our template here, temp here is select the temperature slide at 1286. Um, Hope I didn't screw this up. So let's just go to um, uh, showing my ignorance of Google Docs here. Uh, if I just go to 12:56, let's just scroll down. Okay. Oops. This is not quite one-on-one -on -one with the line numbers because there's some holes in between. Okay. Temperature selection only. Tint selection only. Exposure selection only. You see up here is crop. So you get the idea. Um, you assi assign a button with a number. So I could, for instance, here right click. I want I want to insert a push button. You know, for some reason it says a strange red here. I'm going to give it some format. And let's say, uh, what could we use for demo? I want to put this to uh, something interesting that we can see. I'll uh, say rotate left, 12, okay? So I hop over here, and I give this um, function 12, I click off OC auto, and since I'm lazy, I'm just gonna copy this here. Copy, hop over there, take this out, 12. All right, so now I created a button. Uh, I could put in a label, a horizontal label, oops wrong label. Oh, that's kind of bizarre. The vertical and the horizontal seems to be reversed here. So, um, rotate left is what I did. So, uh, and again, you can click here. You have to hit the text over here. So, you know, the program is kind of funky, but it works really well for all purposes in the end. So that's why we use it. Rotate left, put our label in here. Uh, ba, 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 ba. The color for the label should not be the same. Wow. Great. There you go. All right. So there's our little label. Okay. It's not the be most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Fine. So how? What do you do with the slider? Again, you can insert various things. The um, classical control we recognize as a slider is here called a fader. Um, but what I'm going to insert is actually a uh, rotary controller, okay? Don't use encoder, that's not going to work. This is a rotary controller here. Uh, actually, I don't like this one. like this one better. going to make a large, like a button on the uh, bearing uh, control with the buttons, okay? So we take this. Now, um, 
what's the uh, couple things you don't want it inverted you do not want it centered you do want it absolute not relative uh, and all we need is the is the command here uh, fortunately there's also a list a list of sliders and numbers is here okay similar table let's just pick temperature for demonstration purposes here okay temperature is three I'm uh, gonna be a bit lazy here and I am going to just copy copy hop over paste slider number three no spaces when there is copy and paste spaces here the program has kind of some trouble so we save this all right let's bring it over to <coughs> let's bring it over to our um, iPad so we move over into iTunes you got to find the iPad you got to find the apps you got to find touch OC in the apps you see the documents there and then you got to go over to the um, directory where you save this let's whoops let's move it here uh, you see here's our demo we copy okay now it should be theoretically over here at patty demo done and there it is already we hop over to Lightroom we make sure that in Lightroom we have the preferences OC iPad is on okay so let's try to connect hit the connect button um, and it does not unfortunately blink uh, I'm gonna do this by moving slider it recognized that the map temperature so some typos here it doesn't work the other way though I still have to work on this a bit but that's okay when I found out actually if you just do it again it often works not in our case here so just doing it a couple of times there you go now we are blinking you actually saw this move already so something's moving in the background already connect button blinks maybe I need to change this demo a bit but you can see now when I move here oops we're sending some keywords so let's give Patty some time okay but when I move here you can see now our slider moves when I hit my button it rotates left that's all there is to it really so in OC editor it's a bit of a work but you, you're gonna be better off if you copy and paste from what I did and just play around with it but for you could easily create these big rotary controllers and, and whatever you want to do around it okay presets work a similar way um, Patty has uh, several banks of presets you can see here if I go here presets I have one two three banks of presets and one two three banks of camera profiles these are presets labeled from one here to ten and the next bank is then one thousand one to one thousand ten uh, you can see Patty Lightroom preset ten very simple the labels are Patty Lightroom preset name slash and then the number and you can again hop over to the developer uh, a guide here and there's all kinds of documents on the presets and the commands etc the upshot of this let me just hop over you can still see this you can see my presets here the upshot of this is if you if you if you just keep it in that kind of format as I change things here things change on the iPad automatically right so I call this a whatever a blue filter as it was before and I can change the color to you know whatever I want blue I guess in this case so uh, hopefully that helps you in developing some of these uh, templates for the iPad it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of work but once you get the hang of it it's not that hard